Okay, sorry. I'm upper arm strength. It, it sucks. It's hot. I'm getting. Oh, I turned my AC off because it's loud. But anyways, like I was saying, if I don't have uh, a kid, I've I've been thinking about adopting. Once I get more, <clears throat> excuse me. Once I get more stable in my finances, um, I've been thinking about you know. I mean, I've been trying to build my credit, but I've been thinking about buying a house. Um, I've been thinking long-term and I have goals. And one of the goals is about to be fulfilled and you know, just 15, almost 15 days. So I'm, I'm so excited. <laughs> um, but yeah, so anyways, enough about the health uh, talk. Uh, game. Ugh, I want to talk about games. I beat Pokemon Arceus. I beat Pokemon Arceus. I'm so proud of myself. The credits rolled, but there are post-game stuff, of course. Um, I still need to. I've already been, I already got spoiled, but I mean, it wasn't my, it was my fault. I watched Danny's stream. Um, I know I have to beat Volo but I'm helping him find all the plates first to encounter Arceus or the other Pokemon. I forgot, I forgot what Pokemon he uh, summons. And then I have to battle him, which I hear is a pain in the ass. <laughs> so probably will either build up my Pokemon to level 100 or I might just buy some Pokemon from eBay so I can trade them. I know, cheating, but hey, whatever. It's my game. Um, and then I gotta get all the Pokemon. Um, I'm pretty close. I mean, I think I have 200 of the 242. I believe there's 242 only. But yeah, so I mean, I'm gonna try and beat it. If I have to cheat, I will cheat. I will trade Pokemon. Um, but they said this is the first game ever of Pokemon that you can play without trading and actually collect all the Pokemon. It's hard, but you can do it. So I don't know. I don't know if I want to go that route. I don't know if I want to just get the Pokemon for my friends or something. So anyways, uh, I beat it. I beat my first game on the Switch. Well, no, 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 no. Pokemon Brilliant. No, wait, do I have Shining Pearl or Brilliant Diamond? Shining Pearl. I beat that one. So Pearl and Arceus, I beat. Uh, Pokemon Snap, I still have no plastic, and I want to try and beat that. I think it's a pretty easy game to beat. It's not really a main triple A title like Breath of the Wild or Arceus. Um, and that's another game. Breath of the Wild, I want to try. Um, I did try before, but God, I don't know how to get a freaking weapon. You start without weapons, and you have to find a stick or something, and it's hard. And I've heard from people that I've actually finished the game that it's hard to find stuff like that. And I'm like, oh, I don't want to go through that headache, but I kind of do. So I don't know. I don't know. Um, still, still thinking about that. But Resident Evil 4 is my next uh, big game after Pokemon Snap, probably, because I have it on for the Switch. And I have Resident Evil 5 and 6. But I might not play 6. I'll, I might play 5 and just be like, okay. I'm good, but I don't know because I still want to play all the Resident Evil games. I'm 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 in a survival horror game. It's like my top genre right now because I played I played Marvel Avengers, eh -eh. sucked ass. Monkey crack. Uh, I hated that. Um, but Marvel Spider Man, I loved it. Uh, I mean, it was freaking awesome. I can't wait for Spider Man Two and Wolverine. That's gonna be amazing. Because my PlayStation definitely needs some love right now. I turned it on last night and I wanted to play a game. I couldn't figure out what game I wanted to play. God of War, I want to play. But at the same time, I don't understand the story. And I don't want to play a game that I'm like, what's going on? Like, I want to know what's going on. So, I might give up on God of War for now. Um, I'm thinking about getting Ghost of uh, uh, Tsushima. Sashimo? Sashimo? Something like that. Uh, my friend Daniel. 
um, Anderson told me to play it, and he says it's freaking amazing. He's the one that tried to get me to play God of War, so I'm going to go with the next one he <laughs> recommended me. Um, oh, and I beat Sword. I forgot. I beat Sword on Switch. I beat all almost all the Pokemon, and uh, let's go. So I beat some games on Switch. I don't know why I was thinking. It's just been a while. Anyways, um, I have games for my PS4. I just can't get into my games. Like, I can't, I'm not in the mood to, like, pick up and play. Let's see. Last Guardian. I want to play that because of the visuals. But it's just, I feel like it's boring. And I heard it's really hard. Shadow of the Colossus. I've, tr I be I've played it and I'm started it already but it's kind of boring <laughs> it's beautiful to look at it's cool to like look and see all the you know graphics and stuff but it's boring it's really boring um what else destiny the first one i've never played and i kind of want to try it but i don't know if it has a campaign i think i remember my friend saying that it's co-op or something i don't know but i want to try and beat that because i beat destiny 2 freaking love destiny 2 i don't know why i haven't tried to play it again i think it's because i don't have anybody to play with and the crucibles and all that stuff it's just out of my uh skill level there you go <laughs> uh stick of truth i still haven't finished i kind of want to play that but i don't know actually that might be the next game i, I play and the fractured butthole, I haven't really heard too much about. I heard it was really boring. It was sick of truth, just with a different story and skin. So, I don't know. That's on my back burner right there. And uh, Heavy Rain, Beyond Two Souls, Detroit, Beyond Human or whatever, Being Human, whatever. That one I want to try because I heard really good things about it. Two people that I know of have already beat it and played it and they loved it so <sighs> i don't know so i mean i gotta be in the mood to play them though and my xbox i'm kind of i, I want to get back into it but i put too much time into it with the resident evil games so i'm kind of i'm i'm trying to rotate throughout my consoles because they're just sitting there honestly um so and then i heard rocket league's on the switch and i i mean right now honestly the switch is my favorite system the Xbox One is my second, Xbox One X, and the PS4 is kind of in the back burner because there's really no good games for it that I want to play right now. Um, but the thing is, the two systems, PS4 Pro and the Xbox One X, I hate the, you have to delete a freaking game and put in and make room for storage and also waiting for it to download and install I'm trying not to cuss because I have <laughs> other people watch it that are young, probably. It's infuriating. It, I can't even say it. It's, it drives me bonkers. There you go. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, my God. It drives me up the wall. It pees me off. Um, but with the Switch, instant. Boom. You're done. It's cool. You wait maybe at the most I waited was probably 20 minutes 15 minutes for resident evil or pokemon that was the most i've ever waited for a game to download and update and all that stuff so i mean <laughs> and then there's a couple games on the switch i kind of want to just play because they're really short so i don't know but i kind of wish switch had like an achievement or trophy type of thing hopefully they come out with that or points or something i wish they would come out with a point system if you finish a game you get you add points up. It's a point system. There's a store. If you get so many points, you can get free games or content or something. Like, give me an incentive to beat a game. Just a thought. Anyways. Um, but yeah, so uh I mean that's pretty much on the games. Uh Wii Sports, I kinda wanna get, but that's probably down the line. There's other games I want to get to, Ring Fit, all that stuff. But I'll probably get it after my surgery, so that way I have home workouts and stuff. Um, enough with the games, movies. Doctor Strange, Multiverse of Madness. I've seen it. Wasn't impressed. <laughs> it 
it was a I can't say it was a flop. I expected way more. It was overhyped. Eric said it best. Eric told me we were talking and it was overhyped. He said it was overhyped. Way overhyped because I heard people saying that so and so was going to be in it. They're going to show so and so. They're going to show this and that and do all this stuff. Nothing of that sort happened. It was com the story was kind of convoluted. It was kind of cool that they spoilers um, that they had Wanda as the vi a villain. Um, I kind of wanted to see Vision, but whatever. That's here, here nor there. The Illuminati was probably my favorite part. I don't know why people are hating on it. Um, I heard because they killed him off, but at the same time, I mean, it's a multiverse of madness. Multiverse. Multiple universes. I mean, that's one universe. It happened there. They're alive other places. So, I don't know. It just, it was, it was cool. It was, it caught me by surprise. I was like, <laughs> the whole time watching it, I was like, holy crap. So that was cool. Um, but yeah, there's a couple other movies I want to see. Um, I can't wait for Thor Love and Thor Love and Thunder? Thunder Love Thor yeah. Thor Love and Thunder. That's pretty cool. I freaking love I love Thor Ragnarok. And I love Guardians of the Galaxy. They're in this together, kind of. And I love the trailer. The trailer was awesome. So it has my freaking favorite song on it. Sweet Child of Mine. Love it. Um, it's actually my ringtone. <laughs> so, yeah. That. Um, saw the Batman. It was pretty pretty awesome. I thought it was pretty awesome. Everyone hated it. But I don't see why. I hated the Joker. And I'm pretty. Pretty happy. Yeah. I'm very happy that they took out that scene with the joker because that guy does not look like any type of joker that i've ever seen he looks horrible he looks like two-faced more than anything but um yeah the the riddler was awesome awesome character awesome story it was kind of when did you start stop and think about it it's kind of like wait what but hey it's a movie it's batman it's not real so it was awesome. I, I, I enjoyed it. I might actually watch it right now. <laughs> As I make myself something to eat, I might watch it because it's on HBO Max. Um, but yeah, I love that movie. Um, I just got done with Ozark. That was a travesty within itself. Jesus, man. I, I had high hopes for that show. And it was so short, I thought it was going to be amazing. But the ending sucked so bad so bad i won't spoil that because it's pretty recent and there's some people that actually watch it whatever but oh my god it was so bad um yeah i i loved that show for a while and the last the last episode turned me off of it i was like are you kidding me like this is it so yeah that's how it ends uh-uh it was like Dexter, basically. I, oh, God. Dexter, New Blood. I don't know if I ever talked about it in my videos, but I saw it, loved it, loved the ending of that one. They ended that perfectly. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Leads it open for another spinoff series, possibly, but also ended it on a beautiful... One way I didn't know it was going to take it. So that surprised me. And I mean, I loved leading up to it. The return of Dexter just. Oh, I was I was going to do a chef's kiss, kiss, but it wasn't that good. <laughs> but it was good. It was good. But anyways, yeah, those are what I've seen. A little update on, you know, my media consumption. Um, What else? What else? I'm tired, guys. Oh, I'm tired of doing nothing. No, I'm actually cleaning. I just did my laundry. I'm rearranging my furniture, of course. I am my mother's child. <laughs> um, 
So my next goal though for like upgrading stuff in here is a new couch and a new TV. I still want my 65 inch. Um, 70 inch I don't think will fit in where it's gonna go right here. Uh, but 65 inch, that's what I'm hoping for. Um, hopefully soon. I'm paying off a bill that I might be able to, it's like it's credit or something with my, with my work. Once I pay that off, I'll probably be able to use it again and I'll be able to get my TV, but they're shipping it. So that's kind of scares me. I don't know. So we'll see, but yeah, uh, that's that guys. Um, I will keep you guys updated. I'll keep myself updated with this video of my surgery. Um, probably during the liquid diet, I'll probably make a vlog or two and uh, see how it goes, see how I feel. They said the first 48 hours is gonna be the worst and I'll be going into a state of ketosis. I'm gonna have bad breath. I'm gonna have bad farts. I'm gonna be a diva. I'm gonna be hangry. So I'm gonna be a nightmare for the next two to three weeks. Um, so there's that and I, hopefully I get to video it. <laughs> so that way I look back on it, whoa. <laughs> so anyways, thank you guys for watching. If you have, uh, remember to like and subscribe. Haven't seen much activity, but I haven't done anything. So hopefully I get back into making videos. I like doing these. Um, it's kind of fun. I get into these spouts where I like to talk. Um, I have, <laughs> sounds sad. I have no one to really talk to over here. I talk to my friends and stuff on the you know, phone, but I got no one to like talk to in person. So this feels like I'm talking to somebody. So it's kind of therapeutic actually in a way. I'm actually in a better mood than I was, you know, a couple minutes ago, even though, you know, I was in a pretty good mood then. So anyways, guys, uh, hope you guys have a great day. Remember, if you guys want to do something, just go for it. Don't even, I mean, if it helps you, if it's benefit, if it benefits you, your health, especially think about that, go for it, go to the gym, work out, eat healthy. And I'll catch you guys later.